An Omega Spawn Blast from the past today on Retro Shiz, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today we are totally checking out Series 30's McFarlane Toys' The Adventures of Spawn action figure line, which was very cool. The Omega Spawn, an all armored up spawn, all clad in white and black and some gray and skulls and everything else. This was part of their animated line, quote unquote, a little bit of a departure from the usual McFarlane. But since the animated Bruce Tim properties were hot at that time, yeah, McFarlane took advantage. Basic background for this guy, a machine from the future that was given life by one of the 13 relics of ruin. Of course, Omega Spawn traveled back through time to aid Al Simmons in his noble cause. Omega Spawn also commands the Omega Squadron, which is a collection of robots he has created in his own image. And guess what? McFarlane Toys was like, you know what? Do you like this Omega Spawn? And then, you know, we're gonna tell you there's there's uh, four Omega Squadron robots, right? Well, we're gonna make that in series 32 and we're gonna make four of them and they're gonna differentiate each other because they all have numbers on their legs. One, two, three, and four. So yeah, if you have this guy, you might wanna check to see which number you have. And if you don't have all four, ah, you just collecting wrong. <laughs> I don't, so I'll be looking for these now. On the back of the packaging, you saw Spawn 10 or Spawn X, the Redeemer, Overkill, the Destroyer, Tiffany, Cygor, and the Collector's Club exclusive Lord Mammon, which, yeah, I'll definitely be checking out him. Coming up soon, awesome figure. This guy is cool, very happy to finally open him up. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at Series 30, McFarlane Toys' Spawn Animated, the Omega Spawn. And while I got you guys here, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that button. I got all kinds of videos for you, old toys, new toys, spawn action figures for those wondering. Yep, they're all here. I guarantee you, you'll find something here that you like. Now, let's talk this Omega Spawn, which is all out of the packaging and he's looking oh so good. Look at this guy, he's got some Green eyes to him, really nice looking green. Some gray for that typical spawn look right there on his chest. Nice gray white color. And of course, yeah, he's gonna absorb a lot of others uh, colors onto that armor. But look at the, the numbers and everything on this guy. Very animated maquette style. I dig this line. I do have a few and I particularly like the spawn. 10. This is where a couple of the attachments will go. I'll show you that, but I love the numbers on the side right here. Everything is very crisp. For the most part, he's blemish-free. Brand new figure out of the box, but yeah, he does have a lot of nicks and stuff right there. Number 15 on the side of his leg, and then you get a little bit, uh, you know, more computer graphics right there on that side. But yeah, all, you know, little touches of paint here and there aside, he is looking pretty good. As far as articulation goes, no articulation in the head, which is surprising to me. I thought that would have moved. You get some in the shoulders, the arm pads, yeah, they're not gonna move anywhere for the shoulder pads. The forearms will rotate, basically that's it. Very minimal on this guy. You know, it would, come on, you know what's gonna happen here. Waist, a little bit at the legs, and then more towards the knee. Yeah, those will swivel at, right there. So that, that works, you know, as far as keeping with that really animated, crisp and clean look, and he does have some arm cannon attachments, which are very cool, and he's got some apocalypse sort of wires coming out, you know, leading up to the guns. Nicely painted as well, same coloring overall. A little bit of red right there on the targeting computer sort of thing. And then yeah, these will slip in right into the back right there just to kind of give it that extra comic booky look, right? Sweet, yeah, this is awesome. And as you can see the other one, yeah, it's the same, same one. So very cool. Now these guys' arms are very, very stiff. I'm gonna heat this up and they'll be right back and we're gonna put this on. And here he is, all arm cannon attachments and all. Now I will tell you, yeah, I had to give this guy quite the uh, dip in the hot water, just put the whole figure in there, but I was able to remove the arms, no problemo, and switch them out for this. And I love how the tube wires slip right into the back. They fit in really, really nicely. Now, 
yeah, as we saw, the articulation is quite minimal. The arms will go up and down. It does work with the wires that are attached to his back. So not a whole heck of a lot. But one thing I want to point out, these little targeting red things right here, be very, very careful with them. Those are just aching to break off. I'm just telling you right there. Very, very light plastic. But for what it is and how this guy looks with his arm cannons and you got the stand right here, which, of course, has the big old spawn face on there. He's very sturdy. Get him on there. This is a great looking figure for display. And if you have Spawn 10, Spawn X, he's a little bit taller than the Omega Spawn, but they look great together. Very much like that Bruce Tim Batman the Animated Series style is very popular back in the day. Justice League, Justice League Unlimited as well. And this guy kind of came up when I was looking at the new X Men line, you know, the Tri Sentinel Build a Figure Wave with the Omega Sentinel. I was like, you know, this reminds me of something. I thought about it, and I, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's totally the Omega Spot. Just totally reminded me, you know, even the colors in a way is eh, very cool to see old and new toys together. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the Series 30 Omega Spawn action figure. Now, this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, right, in terms of Spawn figures. If you're a Spawn collector, yeah, probably, most likely, you're going to dig this guy. But for those looking for a very articulated figure, no. This guy is an art piece through and through. And that's what I love about him so much. He's very different. He's very much his own continuity. He's not really associated with Spawn. The Adventures of Spawn was like an online comic book. So it's like its own thing. But he's very cool to check out. But I'm curious to know, if you guys had this, do you need to get him now? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn. And which Spawn figures specifically would you like to see me tackle next for one of my videos and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember when you see me next time i'm gonna have to find four omega squadron guys now and when we do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios